Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So this week, I'm actually gonna do a vlog. I have not done a vlog in so, so long, so I thought I'd just vlog the weekend. I've got a pretty chilled weekend, but I'm also doing some like cute little bits and bobs. So I thought I'd just bring you along just to spend the weekend with me, cause you know, why not? Um, so I actually saw my mum today, which was so lovely. I didn't really vlog too much of it because I don't know if some of you guys know. What is that in the background? Oh, that's the pampas grass. Oh my goodness. I suddenly thought that, you see there, was like a tree. And I was like, I swear I don't have a tree in my flat, but it's just the pampas grass. Um, but it looked like it was like all the way over there. Anyway, I saw my mum today, which was so lovely. I've not seen her since Christmas. I have mentioned in previous videos, but if you're new here or if you haven't seen any of my previous videos or the video, which I mentioned it in, then my parents actually live in France. They moved there um, during lockdown. So yeah, I don't get to see her too often, but she's actually over for my grandpa's 80th birthday she's come over to surprise him but her flight got in super early so we actually just went for brunch at beam if you've never been <laughs> if you've never been to beam then go honestly it is the most incredible place for brunch ever so it's on westbourne grove which is kind of like in notting hill and the food is honestly to, like to die for so i went there with a friend before christmas and i got the burrito the breakfast burrito which was delicious but she got the french toast and i've been meaning to go back to get this french toast because it looks so good and should i tell you what i lived up to expectations i'll put the video in after this little clip but yeah it was absolutely delicious i would honestly recommend going so much so we went for brunch there and then we just had a stroll around Notting Hill it was really lovely went around Portobello Road and went into some shops which was really nice we'll just show you guys what we got up to I didn't really video too much like I said because I have not seen my mom in ages so it was kind of nice to just catch up with her but it's only Thursday today so I'm gonna vlog all of tomorrow Saturday and Sunday just so you guys can spend a weekend with me here was the French toast. It was absolutely stunning. Like, oh my God, it was so delicious. And then we actually popped into Soho Home. I've never been into this store, but I'm obsessed. I literally love home shops like this. That chair was, I want it in my flat. Um, the sun was shining. We're basically just wandering around pretending this was our house, but I was just obsessed. It was such a gorgeous store. Like if you're in Notting Hill, I would definitely recommend going. Like everything is beautiful. I've just realised that's literally all I filmed. It was literally our breakfast and Soho home. So that wasn't very extensive. But honestly, that store is the most stunning thing ever. Like, I actually kind of just want to live in the store. Anyway, I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day. But like I said, I will bring you along for the rest of the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It's Friday morning and I've just woken up and I just made myself a smoothie. I thought I'd just come on here because this smoothie is honestly the most insane thing. So I just kind of made it randomly. It was like a green smoothie mix. I then put a banana in it put some Greek yogurt in it and some coconut milk. And oh my God, it is so, so yum. I'm just quickly having a smoothie because I'm going to Pilates with Zoe. So I'll bring you along to that. We're going to this place called Flow London. I'm so excited, I've really wanted to go for ages. And then we're actually going for some brunch after, but it kind of won't be brunch, it'll be more like lunch. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll show you guys where we go. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and show you guys this smoothie because it is delicious. This weather, oh my god, guys, I've been such an idiot. So I left to go and meet Zoe. I don't know why, but I left at 12, but we're not actually meeting until 1, and it only takes like 20 minutes to get there. I don't know why, I just thought we were like meeting at 12.30. So yeah, I just left for no apparent reason. And then I was posting a parcel first, and then I was suddenly like, wait, hang on a minute, we're not meeting until um, 1. So I just posted my parcel, and I'm on my way back to the flat. To probably sit there for like 20 minutes and then leave again but the weather it is absolutely tipping it down like i'm literally sodden and i've walked like five minutes out in the rain it is such a horrid horrid day and they're kind of thinking maybe it's a blessing in disguise that i got time wrong so i can now go back and actually get an umbrella it's so so gross oh my god miserable day we're here I'm really scared. So he said that it was um, and what did you say? Intermediate, an intermediate class, and I've never done it before. So this could be fun. I'm really scared. I'm fully a beginner. Brilliant. Like, how does this work? Look at these. Such a cute studio, right? You vain, vain. Cute. What are these for? Oh look, Zoe gave me some socks as well. These are 
special Pilates socks. Uh, extra grippy. Oh yeah. So this you might put between like your knees um, or your feet. This will potentially go through your thighs or your calves. All right. A bit of pressure. So cute. We have completed reformer. <laughs> that was um, <laughs> It was really, I don't even know, it was not boring, but. No, it's chilled. You're not used to chilled work. It was chilled, but oh my god, I went so red. My face was literally so blotchy. I looked like a tomato. I looked up in the mirror after she we'd been lying like down. A cherry tomato. I was literally like, holy. I think it's because I was like laid down, all the blood went to my face. But um, yeah, we're just going to brunch now at Drunch. There it is, in all its glory. You're done. Right, this is what we've decided to get. So I got Mexican, well actually we're sharing. So we are sharing. We've got Mexican Benedict. So what's that? Hash browns, guacamole, egg. Spicy hollandaise. hollandaise. And then we got a French toast, which has Nutella and strawberries. Also, I got this coffee. And this is a iced caramel oat latte. And this is honestly probably like the best coffee I've ever drunk in my life. I actually should have filmed it before because it looked really nice before and now it looks kind of gross. But this is our selection. Just gonna uh, eat what we've just probably not burnt off. No. <laughs> Woo, let's go. <laughs> so excited. What have we just burnt? Paris. <laughs> Guys, we have just booked a trip to Paris. Paris. We're so excited. We've wanted to go for ages, but we couldn't find a weekend. We just need to like sit down and actually just find a weekend, you know? So we're going at the end of June. Is it June? Yeah. And we're just going to go for a weekend. We've booked the Eurostar. I've never been to Paris on the Eurostar, so I'm actually kind of excited. Like I'm going to get like a croissant. croissant. Maybe we should play some cards. <laughs> Who knows? I actually love it though. We're so excited, so we're going to go to Paris. And yeah, we've got our holiday booked. And we're actually planning to go to Bali next year as well, which I am. Um, that's actually going to be fun. That's going to be life like, that's going to be like, wow. Look at us it. go. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah, a little spontaneous trip booked. Come for Pilates with Zoe. It's and spontaneous. It's, it's in two spon months. Uh, yeah, it's not spontaneous at all, to be quite frank. We've literally been talking about it for the past like six months. <laughs> well, well. Look how cool this place is. Sorry, are you a, um, are you a, are you an influencer? Uh, is that no. um, Zoe Hudson X? <laughs> no, that's mistaken. It's somebody else. <laughs> She's such a cute cafe. So it is the next day. I'm just on my way to step class. It is such a horrible day yet again. Like, why is it raining all the time? My hair's literally gone so frizzy, but I'm actually gonna wash my hair later on today. I've got a pretty chill day today. I think I need to go to Westfields later, and I think I'm actually gonna go with Zoe again. She said she wanted to go and check out Sephora, which is new, um, but I need to return a few pull and bear items because they came and they had the security tag on, which was really annoying. So I need to basically go to the store and get those tags removed. So yeah, that is the plan for today. I am absolutely knackered. Like my legs, actually, I don't even know if I can walk home and it's literally like 10 minute walk. My hair is sodden. Like, that needs a good old wash. I am literally, so tired that was such a good session though like really got in my groove it was so good but oh, my legs oh my god look what george has chefed up for me to come home to what a ledge i'm gonna scoff this down and then get in the shower <laughs> yum i have just done a huge clean of the flat and thank god you know when like i don't know what it is but like every weekend i'm just like the flat just gets like dirty it just gets dusty and honestly like i feel like i need to just clean it before i then sit down um i'm literally so physically tired though like my body is in bits like absolute bits i'm so tired but i'm not like mentally tired like my body is just tired so i'm about to sit down and watch some working mums on the tv if you haven't seen it on netflix it's like utter crap but honestly it's so good i literally love just like turning it on like in the background if that kind of makes sense but i've actually just tried on this new set from tala and it is so cute it's literally so comfortable like the material is so soft inside um but these bottoms are really cute they've got a nice like slit in the side and they're literally just so comfy like they're such a good fit then it comes with this like matching sweatshirt as well which has like really wide arms and yeah i just thought i'd come on and show you guys because i just think it's really cute and it fits really nicely i think i'm wearing a medium in both 
um, and I think it's like maybe their new collection. I'm not sure, but it's really, really cute. But yeah, I just cleaned the flat, just made everything look a bit tidier. Put some washing in. I've actually changed the bed sheets as well. They need to be washed, obviously, but I've put my silk bed sheets on, which I'm really excited for. They are so creased, but I don't think you can iron them and we don't have an iron anyway. So they just kind of have to be creased, you know, it kind of goes with the look, kind of, not really, but not to worry. So I'm about to watch some working mums. I've got my comfies on. The material's honestly like so nice. Like it's so fluffy inside, as you can see, like it's literally lush done some washing there there's some more washing in the washing machine i'm just cooking some baked beans and hash browns and some mushrooms weird combo i know but also guys oh my god so this material gets dirty really easily obviously this is a rented flat and i now know if i was ever to get my own house and i don't know change the kitchen um which is the dream one day i would not get this surface like it gets so dirty anyway our sink i didn't realize was literally disgusting like it was so brown and yellow and i was thinking like what like it was kind of like stained and i was like what's gonna change this so i chucked loads of bleach in here and now it's literally sparkling there's like a few marks there but they literally won't come off like i've tried scratching them off and they won't come off but that bleach, I was like, oh my God, like th look how clean and like sparkling that now is. Like, honestly, it was like brown before, like brown stained. But I think where you just like always wash your dishes in there, I think it just gets a bit dirty with like food and just like, I don't know, I feel like I just put everything down the sink. So yeah, it was just really stained and gross. And I always tried to wash it with the washing up brush and like fairy liquid and it never come off. And I always kind of thought like, oh, it was just stained. Um, but yeah, chucked some bleach down there, like covered it all and then left it for like five minutes and then washed it all off. And it literally came out sparkling. I was like, oh my God, how have I never done this before? Um, but yeah, so that's all done. I'm now gonna sit down, eat my hash browns, baked beans and mushrooms. Weird combo, I know, but actually it's kind of like a mini fry up, kind of. Um, I'm actually quite excited. It's quite a good combo. If you've never tried it, maybe you should give it a go. I was meant to be going to Westfields this afternoon with Zoe, but I actually, I don't think I can face it. My body, honestly, like I am physically just knackered. And I'm like, I just need to sit down. Um, I only needed to return a few pull and bear bits, but I'm actually going to Westfields tomorrow to the cinema. So I think I might just do those jobs tomorrow instead whilst I'm in Westfields because I'm going there anyway, you know? Just gonna sit down for a very, very chill afternoon, which I am extremely excited for. We are just on our way to brunch. It is Sunday and we're just going for brunch. We're gonna go to egg break. We've never been before, but apparently it's meant to be really nice, but we're actually unintentionally matching. George copied me because he just wanted to be like me, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to egg break. I'm kind of excited, but I'm also not that inspired by the menu. Like I am, but I'm not, you know? No, I am, but I think it's like quite different. I'm not sure. It's like some interesting combos, but yeah, we'll see. We're here, but there's a really big queue and we don't really know what to do because everyone's just kind of stood around. So we're not really too sure what to do. So a little bit of a change of plan. Um, it was so busy, but we had to just put our name down like on the thing and then they're going to text us when our table's ready it said it'll be ready in like 50 minutes so we're actually just going to go back to our flat and wait for the text and then walk down we were going to go look at other places but i just feel like everywhere's going to be so busy because one it's sunday two it's like the prime time to go for brunch and three it's mother's day so we're just going to wait for our text and then wander our way back down so I've got a green smoothie. That looks nice. I've got a hot chocolate. How is it? Nice. Come on, with seats. Right, it has arrived. I've got French toast, the tele French toast. We've got tater tots, but I'm not going to lie, that is one stingy, stingy portion of tater tots. And George has got the chicken sandwich or something? Yeah, chicken egg and avo. What is it? Chicken egg and avo. Yum, scram. And we are back. We didn't have, I don't know, it wasn't like the best place I've ever been to. We were downstairs, which was a bit annoying. Like we were literally like down in the basement. And then as you guys saw, I got the Nutella French toast, which was, it was really nice, but the bread was kind of stale. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it was meant to be like that, but it was kind of like hard and chewy. Um, George got the chicken sandwich, which he said was nice, but it wasn't like incredible. 
And then we got tater tots on the side and the portion of tater tots was probably the most dingiest portion I have ever seen in my life. Um, the smoothie was nice, but it was just the press smoothie bottle things, which is nice, but I sometimes when I go out for brunch, I'm a bit like, I kind of want like a homemade smoothie. I don't know, maybe that's just me. And then George's hot chocolate was nice, but it wasn't like incredible. Um, so yeah, would I, would I recommend that place? I'm not sure. I probably wouldn't, to be honest. I mean, like, it was nice, but it wasn't, like, a mind-blowing experience, you know? I think Bean is definitely a lot better, which is where I went with my mum the other day. I would definitely say that was a lot nicer. So, kind of disappointed, kind of not. I don't know. It was nice, but it wasn't incredible. Anyway, we're just going to chill here for a bit, and then we are actually going to the cinema to watch Creed 3 um, at 2.30. So... George wants to show you guys his swollen ankle. It doesn't actually look that swollen. Oh. But it's I'm just... It hurts. Oh, right. How do you do that? Uh, How? Um, someone kicked my ankle in the warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone just kicked my ankle in the warm-up and then, yeah. This is the damage. It's just like... Oh, your hand's a bit cold. Sorry. Yeah. Poor little guy, eh? Wounded, mm. injured. He was hobbling along the streets. So it was quite funny, really. I mean, it's quite. To be fair, that looks quite swollen, like around there. Yeah, but yeah, you'll survive, I'm sure. Yeah. You'll drag your drum back to front. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> change and we are about to go to the cinema so i need to return some pull and bear items um because they came with the label the security tag on i think i've already said in this video but yeah we're going to go and return those items and then we're going to the cinema we're going to the one in westfields um super close to us so it's just pretty easy you need to get some m&ms on the way i'm going to take some water and i think we're going to get some salted popcorn as well because oh m&ms in popcorn by the way godsend absolute Godsend. So off we go. We also just saw a, um, a mouse on the platform. Like it wasn't even on the tracks, but it was fully on the platform, like scurrying around. And um, yeah, there was just this guy taking a video of it. Like it was like running around the platform. It's gross. Oh, oh wait, no. That's how I feel like it's last time, but it's not. Um, yeah, it really stinks on here. Really, really stinks. That's Sephora. I don't think there's a big queue. No, there's actually not a queue. Interesting, but we're going in here. We've secured the goods. Salted popcorn. Ice blast. Tango ice blast. And we've also got chocolate blue M&Ms, the crispy ones. These ones are definitely the best ones. But, um, what was I going to say? It's a really weird grammage. It's 107 grams. It feels really small. And I'm like, is that a normal pa like size? Or is that like a cinema size, you know? I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. You excited? <laughs> Was really good we would recommend going to see it but oh my god so we were in there and there was these literal like children like they looked probably like 10 years old i think and um they were at the back there was like a massive group of them and they were being so annoying like they just kept laughing and like they kept being like stop taking a picture of me like where's my shoe like all of this and then um Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then there was also a group in front of us. And I think some of them knew the people behind, like, behind us. I'm not sure. But the people in front of us, they were having, like, popcorn fights. They were, like, throwing their Maltesers. They ended up getting kicked out. But there was actually two people behind us 
They ended up leaving halfway through because those like children were being so annoying. It was quite irritating, I'm not gonna lie. So we couldn't really get fully immersed in the film because I feel like when there was something like deep happening, all I could hear was giggles, but it was still a good film. We had a great time. We managed to finish the popcorn, finish the M&Ms, finish the Tango Ice Blast, and now we're just on our way home for some dinner, but I'm not really hungry. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry, I literally am just editing my vlog now and I realised it never closed off. It ended very abruptly walking out of the cinema. So I'm just coming on here to say goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Sunday. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I do hope you enjoy your week. Please do also comment below if there's anything you'd like to see next and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.